So it's official. Japan won't put up sales taxes again for another two and a half years. On Tuesday evening, Shinzo Abe took up 15 minutes of primetime TV to argue that growth is more important for now than getting the government's books in order. The Prime Minister is so sure that this is the right thing to do that he's seeking four more years to see it through. So Japan will go to the polls again next month, less than two years on from the birth of Abenomics. Some pundits have been warning that investors would take the news badly. In the bond market in particular, it was thought that investors might take fright if they associated the move with a loss of fiscal discipline. On Tuesday evening, Fitch, the credit rating agency, warned that this was a significant development in its ongoing review of its single A-plus credit rating for Japan. But so far, investors in government bonds don't seem too upset. Over the eight trading days since rumours of a delay began to build, volatility has soared, but yields have not actually moved very far. In the 30-year sector, where you might expect a bit of a fiscal premium to develop, yields have actually fallen. In the credit default swap market, the cost of protecting the five-year JGB against default has risen about a quarter, but only to about a third of the levels before Mr Abe reclaimed the premiership in December 2012. Meanwhile, the currency has continued its steady fall against the US dollar. Wednesday's policy update from the Bank of Japan, which contained a much stronger show of support among board members for the aggressive easing of, of Governor Harihiko Kuroda, is likely to keep downward pressure on the yen. And all that easing should be good for bonds too, whatever happens to tax receipts. The stock market doesn't look too troubled by the tax delay either. The broad topics index is up a couple of percent over the past week and a half, beating most global benchmarks. And in the latest fund manager survey carried out by Bank of America Merrill Lynch, which included a few days in which election rumours were building, optimism towards Japanese stocks was at its highest levels for nine years. Whether all this is a genuine vote of confidence in Abenomics, or just a lot of people seeing Japan as a low-risk place to put money in the fourth quarter, is open to question. But for Mr Abe, he probably doesn't care. He just wants investors to keep backing him. And for the time being, they are. Ben McClanahan, Financial Times, Tokyo.